Justice Development and Peace Caritas Initiative, JDPCI Abuja, a faith-based non-governmental organization, has advocated for forest preservation to mitigate the effects of climate change in the country. The initiative chairman made the call at a news conference in Abuja to commemorate the 2024 World Environment Day, celebrated annually on June 5th. The chairman said that the tree planting would not only contribute to environmental restoration and biodiversity, but would also provide economic benefits to local communities. One of our flagship initiatives, inspired by Laudato Si, is our ambitious tree planting campaign between the years 2023 and 2024 we have successfully planted over 10,000 trees in our various parishes across the archdiocese these trees not only contribute to environmental restoration and biodiversity but also provide economic benefits to local communities. By integrating environmental stewardship with economic empowerment, we embody the holistic approach advocated by the Holy Father. Furthermore, I am thrilled to highlight the recent launch of the JDPC Laudato C briquettes factory and safe energy cooking stoves in April 2024. This innovative project, which was commissioned by His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Ignatius Ayao Kaigama, represents a significant step in our efforts to mitigate climate change. The factory produces eco-friendly briquettes from agricultural wastes like sawdust and rice hogs offering sustainable alternative to traditional wood and charcoal. This not only reduces deforestation and carbon emissions, but also provides a cleaner and more affordable energy source for the households. An official of the Catholic Agency for Overseas Development also reiterated the need for individuals to pay more attention to their immediate environment. This is a completely a wake-up call for all of us um, to at least pay more attention to how we live our life, how we interact with the environment. There is need for that interconnectedness in our lives, our daily activities, without neglecting the environment in which we live. Reverend Father Solomon Oko, Executive Director of the initiative, also called on the FCTA to take a clue from the Catholic Diocese of Abuja and resuscitate tree planting in the FCT. We are in the rainy season and we know what it is. So it's a call for us as human beings to take care of the earth, you know. We have been given that special task by God himself. I'm a priest, so I always like to refer to the scriptures. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, the Lord created man and gave us that commission. Be fruitful, multiply, take care of the earth. We are not owners. We are stewards. So we've uh, been given that responsibility of taking care of our earth. The little things you do can matter a lot.